Hi guys, so uh, this is gonna be a very short video and I might just title it uh, why the 6.5 is better than the uh, <laughs> 7.62 for long range shooting for dummies I guess. So here we have a 6.5 by 55 and here we have a 308. So those who don't know uh, this is like 0.264 inches or whatever. And this is caliber 30. So this is gonna be thinner than this. But as you can see, the bullet is also longer. So the 308 to the 762 by 51. The reason many people wants to do long range shooting with this one is because it is a NATO standard. The United States Army uses this, and most Western armies uses this caliber for many types of pew pewing also it's very common in civilian ownership that is not exactly the case in sweden in sweden we have a shitload of ammunition like this 6.5 by 55 as you can see the whole cartridge is longer this is long action this is short action this will have an effect on which uh, uh, receiver your rifle can have this won't go into a free, uh, ar10 for example this will this might have a a rifle chambered in this will have a better aftermarket with uh, like uh, extra chassis systems whatnot this might be a bit harder but there exists options for this in sweden if you want to get a long range rifle usually what you do as a hunter to both be able to hunt all game and and do long range shooting you get a ticket t3x chambered in 6.5 by 55 there are some mdt chassis systems that will work with this it's perfectly doable or if you're a sports shooter, you get a Sauer 200 STR chambered in this. You can also get a 308 barrel for the Sauer if you want to have buy surplus ammo and do some cheap training. I do that. Anyway, so what's the big deal? Why is the 65 by 55 better? Also, what I'm s saying for the 65 by 55 is also true for the 65 Creedmoor. Same bullets, a different uh, pressure profile than the 65 by 55. The 6.5 Creedmoor is also short action like the 308, so all those fancy AR-10s and short action receivers will work. And yeah, you, you don't need as long of a barrel compared to the 6.5 by 55, but uh, I've had some issues with the 6.5 Creedmoor rifles I've tried where higher pressures tend to mess with primers and shit like that. I've heard others having issues with that. So when I compete, I use my bolt action 6.5 by 55 so far, but I've had good luck with accuracy with my AR-10 and 6.5 Creedmoor. Enough about Creedmoor. So yeah, what's the difference except the bullet? Yeah, <coughs> so let's just talk ballistics then. So there is a thing called a ballistic coefficient. It's basically a little number uh, that tells you how how the bullet, bullet will handle uh, wind and air resistance and shit like that. It is a number you put into your ballistic calculator app like Straylock Pro uh, to get your ballistic table. There is no 308 cartridge that has the s same numbers as uh, the 6.5 by 55. <coughs> the 6.5 by 55 is a superior ballistic ballistically compared to the 308. It's because of the long, thin bullet. Uh, so what happens if you fire both of these cartridges with the same exit velocity at muscle, the V0 velocity at the muscle, even if it's the same, say it's uh, 850 meters per second, whatever that is in feet per second, uh, this guy will fly longer than this guy. So this will drop velocity faster than this guy because this will just cut through the air and the wind while this will just try to catch it. So uh, as a, you, can, you can say that while this will hit a target up to 800 meters and if you have a fancy load you can go further of course, the same with this one. This one will, will hit targets at at least 1200 meters. And I've seen people hit targets with this out to 1,800 meters. That's well beyond a mile. So you can, you can actually use this for extreme long range. This, not so much. <coughs> this is, uh, comparatively speaking, short range. But that depends on your needs as well, right? So uh, 
if you don't have a range that or any opportunity to fire past 800 meters then you're gonna be probably fine with a 308 but remember that whatever wind holds you have for this you have to like double or triple them for this because this will just say hello mr wind let me follow you wherever you're blowing and then just beep, 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 get away from you so this is uh, very good for training wind holes <laughs> this is this is a lead potato with wings trying to go wherever it wants while this will just cut through an anything and hit your target this is very very easy to hit targets at range with compared to this just because of the less of the wind hold because of how good this cut through wind yeah <clears throat> so that is a very important distinction no matter the distance you're firing at the 6.5 or 6 mil or whatever that has uh, this shape of a bullet will handle wind just fine if you want to have a caliber 30 round you're gonna have to go out to 300 win mag so you can use the caliber 30 bullets that has the same shape and ballistic coefficient as these but that is like yeah you're gonna hit it's unnecessary this will do the job i cannot moose and bear with this uh, 300 win mag hmm. if you're gonna go 300 win mag just get a free 38 lapua magnum immediately and just go all in on that shit uh yeah, this is good for belt feds and, and and the military, I guess. We'll see how long they keep it. This is good for everything. So yeah, we used to use this in the Swedish military. Uh, it's a very old cartridge. Uh, we made it together with the Norwegians. Sport shooters and hunters are mainly the ones using this. We have some ceremonial rifles still in use in, in the military in Sweden, like for the Royal Guards and whatnot. But those are not ever going to be in use, of course. It is a great round. I'm using this for long range shooting. I have zero issues hitting shit at any range with this. Um, I have a lot of videos of me shooting long range with 6.5 or 55. So <coughs> the good thing about this cartridge in Sweden, at least, is that Norma is making an excellent, excellent uh, uh, loading for this. You don't really need to reload for this. Um, it's the Norma Diamond Line Field. Will have molybdenum coating. It's not this bullet. It's going to be gray and metallic. That is a super nice load. It's going to go. It's 130 grains. It's going to go like 900 and something meters per second, which is hilariously fast. And molybdenum coating will save on barrel life. I don't know how many thousands of rounds I've fired through my current barrel, but it's still shooting awesomely. So don't need to change that anytime soon. But generally, barrel life will be better in a 308 or a 762 by. 51. Right, uh, that is basically the important points of why this is better. It's basically more useful, but if you don't have a use for this, you don't need it. And if you live in the US, you're going to have to reload, I guess. I know that Hornady at least is making loads for this and they're good, but it's probably going to be better to just reload. Uh, if I want to recommend a bullet if you're reloading, it's the Sierra Match King 142 grainers. I have great luck with those. And a really slow gunpowder. I use Norma MRP. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. Yeah. So uh, uh, check out my long range videos with a 6.5 if you're curious on how, how it is to shoot. And I uh, hope you get a rifle. Okay, have a nice day.